Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Space Engineers playing in the Industrial Overhaul. It is now day 21, and we have made progress on the base. Last episode, we finished up and got wind power. You can see it off over there in the distance. And let me get over here. There you go, you can kind of see it over there. Looks pretty good, actually. I was pretty happy with the way that turned out. And it's actually producing power that's taking the pressure off the hydrogen engine. Uh, today, let's get over here to the board and take a look. Oh, I did a little bit of maintenance here. I finished this section out, at least on the concrete blocks. And I'm gonna try to continue to do that a little bit here and there. Uh, one of the things today, I added a finished rock crusher. The rock crusher will uh, enhance the ores that I bring in. So those will get sucked in uh, through here. They'll get crushed, which should give me more ore for uh, what I am bringing in and having processed. And so I'll get it finished, and I believe I should be able to pipe that over and bypass the uh, ore purifier. That's a, a third step that would help uh, refine even more ore. So I'll uh, be able, to, should be able to run that up and over and, and run it in through here. And then once I get to the point of having the uh, tech level to be able to do the ore purifier then it's just a matter of uh, taking that piping out and connecting it into right here and then connecting this into here so uh, with that the thing that I need to do I need to create an oil burner so if we take a look here and one of the things I did do was uh, I laid in uh, to kind of step up so I'm not having to kind of grind out the uh, bank, the terraform, the voxel blocks. This way that will give me more room to expand out on the base as we need to put in more production uh, blocks. And in order to finish that rock crusher, I need ceramics. And in order to produce ceramics, I need carbon. And in order to produce carbon, it's you get that from uh, oil sand and oil and whatnot. But if you don't have that available to you, you can burn, and here, let me show you here. There is a incinerator. This incinerator will burn any unnecessary parts, things that you don't want. Uh, gravel. I can throw gravel in there, and the byproduct is carbon. So, I don't want to connect this into the pipeline though. I want to keep it as a separate unit and I'm thinking about just putting it in like right about here actually. Uh, let me go grab some steel. Ah, steel. There we go. Plate stamp. Grab about 10 of those. So I'm actually thinking about putting it in right about here. Might as well put it right on the edge. Uh, I think we'll throw it right there. And other than the fact that it takes uh, a lot of steel plates, it really doesn't need too much. So 
I am going to get this built in here and then we can start throwing a bunch of uh, stone in there to produce uh, carbon and then I can get that rock crusher done. So as I get this a little farther along, I'll catch back up with you in a little bit. Okay, I have my incinerator done. Oh, and I see a unknown signal out there. So I'm probably going to run out there and grab that. Uh, but I have the incinerator done. So if we look, I've already thrown some stone in there. We'll throw some more in there. And you can see that it's producing carbon. Which I'll be able to uh, grab it. And if we go over to our ceramics, uh, let's see here. Let's get to our inventory. Uh, ceramics furnace. And, oh, let's do this differently. Let's get over here to ceramics. And then let's get over here. And if we throw this in here, it should start making... There it goes. It's producing... So if we go over to production over here, uh, it'll probably be all used up by the time I get to there. Ceramics? Where are you at, ceramics? Why can't I... F there you are. So it's already it's already used it up, but it did produce a couple of more ceramics. Now, if we go over to the rock crusher, we will be able to see how many ceramics we need. We got 19, and we need 50. So it's going to take a little bit of gravel, but we can produce that. I don't have to have oil sand. To be able to produce the uh, cer uh, ceramics or yeah the ceramics because I need carbon for that all right that uh, unknown signal is out there I am it's under a kilometer so I'm just going to run out there and get it so once once I get it and get back I will catch back up with you all Okay, I am back from getting that scrap. Let's go throw it over here in the refinery. And let's, uh, should be able to throw it all in there, I think. Get that. There we go. It's all in there. Refining away. Uh, and it should... I think I don't know if it'll produce any carbon or not out of any of this maybe from the battery scrap it might uh, but I'm thinking that uh, we're going to have to continually grind away over here and get uh, get it in here into the incinerator let's uh so I've got to figure out where I want to get my gravel from. Trying to keep the base somewhat pristine. Uh, I could go over to the garage and, and mine it out over there. Which might not be too bad of an idea. Uh, what do I got on me? Uh, oh, I got to get rid of this stuff. Uh, I actually got to run over there, so let's let me do this. Let's run over to the garage section, and we'll dump this stuff off. At some point, we want to build a a greenhouse uh, f for the farming stuff, so that we don't have to just keep eating this rations at least twice it's not emergency rations but 
we still would like to be able to have something a little better than than just uh, the synthetic food. So let's unload all of this. Uh, that way we will keep. Might as well put that in there. And we can grab... I needed to it, do some work on the garage anyway, so let me... So, uh, here, um, let's, uh, let's get a few more rock. I'm trying to keep... I gotta get a little trench going here. That way... That way it uh, doesn't roll all over the place. And it can stack up right there. All right. Uh, let's go back over and throw this in. Yeah, and at some point, I got to get back over here and finish, get get working on the garage some more. Uh, I'd like to have doors and stuff like that on it. Uh, so it's a little ways off, but yeah, today's priority is the rock crusher. And let's throw this stuff in here. And there we go. We're getting the carbon. It's not going to take long to produce that. So it's producing. So that about 3.3 kilograms. It's not a lot. But if we get over here... And let's, uh, ceramic, we throw that into here, and it should start, it is, production, ceramic, And it's already consumed, consumed at, so it uh, takes a little bit, but we got 21. We're not quite halfway there yet. All right, so I think with that, uh, let me kind of start working on getting that gravel over here. And so that we can get enough carbon so that I can make enough ceramics so that we can finish out the, the rock crusher. And we'll get that all done today. All right, I will uh, catch back up with you in just a little bit. Okay, I have been uh, grinding out uh, gravel, mining, mining it out from here, it kind of expanding this out a little bit. So I'm going to continue to, to move this base uh, this direction for at least a few more blocks and eventually we'll be able to finish getting this this put in. Uh, I'm not sure how much I want to go this away. Uh, I won't be going any farther this direction. It'll all be going that direction there so anyway so what I did was I pulled over the cargo hauler so you can see that it's sitting right here and uh, uh, I filled it up here let me show you there should be four containers in here uh, that one's filled got this one filled the only thing I didn't fill is the cargo seat and so I got this all filled all four of them, plus I've got uh, stone on me. So, let's see if I can get out of here. I should be able to. should have enough power. So let's uh, see if we can get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on. I 
I didn't think I loaded it up that much. All right. Let's see here. It seems to be Well, let's let's do this. Let's uh uh, control panel. Let's see if my wheels. Let's, uh. Let's see if we give it a little more power and some more friction. Let's see if that gets us out of here. Oh, almost, almost, almost. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. Well, I guess that's a note to self. Ooh, what uh, did I do there? All right. Let's... Yeah, it's at its maximum when it's full. So, anyway, we'll get uh, pulled over here and get... Uh, that was almost a disaster. Also, note to self that... Uh, if I have to bring more over, do not... Uh, pull all the way down into the garage like that. All right, I think this is close enough. Let's uh, park it right here. And one thing I do need to do while I'm at it, let's uh, turn that power back down to about 50%. Somewhere about right there. Uh, and the friction, we can bring it back back down. Okay. All right. Uh, let's start getting this stuff into the incinerator. And we'll see how this is doing. Let's see how much we end up making. It looks like it's making it's making one carbon, I think, for each stone. So that's good, actually. So we're not losing anything on, on this. Alright, once I have all of the stone uh incinerated and I've got the carbon produced uh, I'll catch back up on to you well wouldn't you know about the time I started uh, putting everything into the incinerator the fog has come in and you can barely see the windmill and you can barely see that they're all turning so we have power production that is down and it's not quite enough power I mean it'll do it but the power for the hydrogen engine is just not uh, quite enough let me uh, throw another batch of stone in there I'll show you what I mean we'll throw this in here 
can you can hear it and you can see the light flickering so we are underpowered right at the moment so I think what I'm going to do well that's still not going to necessarily be good uh, I don't know how, how much power consumption will be for the others, but let's just see something here. Let's see what we can do to start finishing some of this. Uh, let's see if we can get this done. Let's see how much... That should, yeah. So even in low power, that incinerator pulls a lot of power in. So we can only run it during daylight hours or not, I shouldn't say daylight hours. I should say uh, when the uh, winds, if the wind's not blowing, then We uh, need to uh, not run the incinerator. I'm hoping I'm not going to have to run it that much. Uh, it's only to get rid of excess stuff. I, uh, eventually I was going to build one. But uh, let me... Uh, so I am going to... So, well, actually, let's do something here first. Let's grab what we've got done. Let's grab this. And we will throw that into the ceramics. Uh, ceramics. Let's throw this in here. And I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. But let's go over to production under the ceramics. So, it is, it takes a little bit for each one to get produced. So we've got 28, yeah, we're going to run out. I think, I'm not sure what each one requires. But it looks like it's about it's about three three carbons to make one ceramic, and we're at 31. So one oh, it looks like our uh, the fog's gone away. All right, let's see if we can't get some more of this uh, stone in there. See if that's see if our power's not functioning a little better. There we go. All right, power's back. I will finish getting the stone into here. Uh, I'll finish getting the stone turned into carbon. And hopefully, that's going to give us enough carbon to uh, finish that rock crusher. So I will be back with you in just a few minutes. Okay, I think I have enough ceramics to get the rock crusher done. Uh, so let's see if we can get all the parts for this. All right. Got that into the build component. All right. Let's start building this thing out. It says we needed, uh... 50 ceramic, and I know that there's 53 over there. So hopefully... Alright. Alright, it says we've got everything. Uh, 
All right. We have a rock crusher. And as you can see, uh, our port, we have ports here. So originally, I would, this is anticipating bringing that down and hooking that into there. But for now, I'm going to bring that over and drop it right into there, uh, which should work just fine. And let's see something here. Oh, yeah. Now, this is not connected directly into there. It's connected via the uh, conveyor ports underneath. So, I am going to finish building this out. Let's see what I need. Uh, where is my... Here we go. Three... So, uh, let's go with piping, conveyor pipe, flanged in. We will connect that in. Uh, can I get up there? No, it's not going to reach from there. Here, I might as well at least get the parts for this one. If we can just somehow reach it. Oh, there we go. All right. Still gonna have to figure out a way to get up there. Turn that around. That one in there. And that is the way I want that one. I think one more pipe. And I think I need to flip that. Now we need a curved pipe. Where are we at? Right there. Curved pipe. And that will come down. And back to our flanged pipe. There. And if we flip that like that, there. Okay. All right. So that's plumbed in. Now, once once I ha am able to build this, I should be able to just bring that down and connect it in. And... This should, I think, when I laid this out, that that should have a port right there once that's built. Let's, uh, let's do this. All right. Now. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to... I'm going to have to build some sort of scaffolding up through here. And let us let me go find some girders. And we can do the scaffolding real quick. This should be enough. I'm just going to use cement blocks. It's cheaper to, to use girders. Alright, let's see here. Put 
put one there like that. Then I'm thinking we put one like this that I can walk up the side of that. So let's see if we can... Yeah. Am I going to be able to get close enough? No. So what I might have to do... All right. Let's do it like this. Let's, I don't know if I can or not. Let's see what happens. I'm thinking. Six. No, it's not going to let me do that. All right. Uh, then if we do it like this... Let's take this out. We'll put uh, one more block out here. Put a block there like that. See if we can get the. See if this will get us up close enough. That'll get me there. There. And if I kneel down, will that get me there? Uh, I might be able to jump up to that one. So let's let's see how many of these we can get. Come on, I had you a minute ago. There we go. Two, two more. And I think what I want to do here, to get to those, if we just do this, like this. Let's see if this will connect like that. And I should be able to get onto that. Alright. Now. Let's, all right, okay, that one's built, got that, yeah, come on, there we go. Oh, I need more parts, of course. All right, it's got everything. All right, we got that one. Let's hopefully I can get to this last one. All right. Oh, nice. Okay, that's all in. All right. All right, let's see if I... Nope, all right. 
Let's do it like this. Uh, actually, getting a little discombobulated here. Three, three. There we go, we can get it with that. There we go. Now let's go back to one. Now we can do it like this. We can jump up there, get closer. There we go. All right. The rock crusher is in place. All right, let's get these things out of here. Oh, I, I didn't mean to take that one out, but that's fine. Okay. Well, you know, what we need to do now is we need some... I guess we'll just throw some gravel in there for right now. Uh, let's go grab some gravel. Just, just a drill full. And as we are ever so slowly making some progress down here. All right. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's producing gravel. Alright, so it's going to produce gravel. Unlike throwing it in the other refineries, which actually produce... Uh, ...the other minerals out of there, which is fine. This gravel can go off over to the cement mixer, and we need other things in there, so it'll produce more gravel that we will need for for more stuff so and it looks like it's taking it's refining it down so we're going to end up with quite a bit of gravel in there uh what let's see i'm thinking the closest is that iron rock son of a gun well, you know what? Next episode, we're, we're going to have to go after minerals. So let's get over to our board. We can check off Finnish Rock Crusher. All right, let's put an X on that. LCD, where are you at? Edit. Edit text. And let's put an X on that one. There we go. Ah, let's leave that in there. That looks better. All right. So, Rock Crusher is done. Wind is done. So in the next uh, next mission, or in the next day, I think what we're going to probably do is have to take out the flying machine, uh, make sure that we did improve the distance on it, and we can then get some 
more minerals for the rock crusher so that we can run it so yeah this is producing quite a bit of gravel now this should all be piped in which let's see something here Production. We have an inventory of that. Is that uh, production? Production. Required. Okay, yep, it's pulling it in. I will uh, do a little more testing on this, but again, we've got we've got this working away. It's grinding a little slower. I wonder how much power it takes. Two point five megawatts so it is crushing away yeah it's gonna make quite a bit of gravel out of there not quite one for one I think but pretty close all right well I think that's just about gonna wrap this up and uh, yeah we've got uh, we, we managed to get something accomplished today the rock crusher's in place, and we actually put an incinerator in place. So, making some progress here. Uh, at some point, we're going to have to locate more minerals so that we can kind of continue up with the tech on this uh, and kind of move into the next tier of uh, energy production. Low. And with energy being low, it's time to call it a day. So with that, uh, oh, actually, thanks for watching, all you space engineers out there. Uh, if you like the video, please hit that uh, likes button. It helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. It helps the channel. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video.